Hello. How are you doing? It's nice to meet you. Nice um, to meet you too. Do you want to tell us what you're doing here in London? Um, basically, I just kind of came to London to soak in the sight, <laughs> to tell you the truth. I've come here so many times in the past and not really been able to live. You know what I'm saying? It's been such a heavy schedule each time I've come because it's been based on um, promotions for an album or for a project or whatever. But it was some a couple of people that I wanted to work with, a couple of fans that I wanted to see who wanted to see me. So I've been going around kind of doing parties around the UK and just talking to my fans, really. Just kind of wanting them to, wanting to just see him face to face. I hear you're over here working with some UK artists. Do you yeah. want to tell us a bit about that? Yeah, man, I've been, um, you know, I, I, I've always wanted to work with, um, you know, kind of underground or up and coming artists because the freedom is there to kind of do what, you know, to kind of actually create. There's not all of the bureaucracy and all of the politics that go into doing records with name artists, you know, with artists who are already established, which I've done in the past. And um, it's just always some kind of cramp there, some kind of shackles that won't let you know won't let you completely create. And at this point in my career, man, the, you know, I go I've gone back to the essence. The best thing about doing music for me is the actual creative process. You know, actually writing, producing, and creating songs. So I really just wanted to work with some of the people who had the freedom to do that themselves. Like today at the studio, I'm working with Danielle Senior in a whole different type genre of music than what I've ever done, you know what I mean? And it's because now, um, being independent, I kind of had the freedom to spread my wings and do whatever kind of music I feel like doing. So I've been dabbling in rock. Um, I just signed a rock group in the States called Menlo and getting them started, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, this is a dance record that I'm working on here. I got, you know, naturally hip hop is my heart. So I got my man Shizio, who's a UK artist, who's, who's um, Rapping, we just did a song together called Rocket Girl, which we're shooting a video for in London next week. Um, my man Red Music, who I did a, a song with, me and Shay Shice and Noble from the Outlaws, just did a song with him a couple of weeks ago. Shot a video out in LA for that. So I mean, you know, we just we we here we doing a lot of things, you know, and, and having a lot of fun with it. Yeah. And when are you looking to release potential new tracks or albums? Well, I got a new album that um that I released in the U.S. a couple months ago, Paradise Right, which um, I'm actually working right now. My fans want to get a hold of it, and it's been pretty difficult for them because I'm independent in the U.S. I'm independent, period. I really wanted to get to a point where um, in my career I can own myself. Even if it's just to say for 12 months in my career I've owned myself completely, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And that's the point where I am, and it's just, you know, it, for me, it just feels good to finally be in that position. Who knows what's gonna happen next year or the year after that, or if I end up going back to a, a label or doing a deal with this person, that person. But for right now, you know, I wake up smiling and <laughs> saying that, okay, I own myself. So I have an album in the works right now that is completed that I own myself and my, my fans own it. So I'm here to give it to them. You're in the TV program commissioned by ABC. Yeah. Can you tell yeah. us a bit about that? Well, the name of the the name of the program is Original Artist. Um, it's a, it's a, a venture that I got into with two of my business partners down in Mobile, Alabama, Angela Prince and Tony Cooper. Um, and it was something that was it was an idea by Angela that that you know she was kind of getting some bumps in the road and and you know needed some help kind of take it to the next level. So I kind of put my hand in it a little bit because I felt like it was a it was a, a good thing for music as opposed to um, all of the other kind of music related shows, these talent searches and things. Every, everybody's doing covers, you know what I'm saying? That means that the, the artists that, you know, and I, I don't knock anybody who's won American Idol or who's won X Factor or anything like that, but I always, I've always believed that to call yourself an artist, you have to create something. You know what I'm saying? You can go up on stage and sing somebody else's song better than they did, but I don't consider you an artist at that point. I consider you a singer. You know what I'm saying? An artist has to be able to play an instrument or write a song or a originality and the word artist goes hand in hand. And the name of this show is Original Artist and you have to come with original music. You have to be able to write and perform your own music. You know, 
and the platform is we had about 750 entries from around the U.S. Um, and it was voted online by fans. We had about 200,000 200, votes in. Out of all of these entries, we picked the top 10 in four genres of music, which is country, rock, R&B, and hip hop. In turn, we took those 40, 10 in each genre, and sent them out to radio stations. Had the radio stations pick the top four. The top four go on the show and compete against each other. So there you have four winners. Radio stations are the judges. So you can kind of see how everything is hand in hand. The four winners basically win a, a single deal, record contract, to put out the single that they actually won the contest with. And what it does, it's a great filter for my label to find artists. You know what I mean? And not just singers or not just running the mill people who may have a hot song or a hot this, but people who are really talented enough to create more music. So I mean for me it, it is when I found when I saw the idea when I saw Angela's model I'm just like hmm now this is nice. This is good on a lot of different levels because the people who win this show have shown themselves to be complete artists already. You know what I'm saying? As opposed to the whole you take a person who's who's just a singer and polish them up, put millions of dollars behind them and then blow them up. I think if any of these artists get to the point where they can have be on the charts, those are the kind of artists that it used to be, you know what I'm saying? I, I just feel like R and B and and hip hop for the most part, and even pop and country has passed its golden age already. And I think it needs to kinda of go back and this kind of show I think can usher in that new era of music. Is there anything you'd like to tell your fans to be in the UK? Oh, well, I mean, I, I definitely want to say first and foremost, thank you. I mean, that's what this whole trip is about. That's what this whole, everything that I'm doing now is about that. I'm really, um, you know, I never, I, I, I always wanted to write songs. I never was trying to be an artist like that wasn't a part of the plan. It just so happened that, you know, my publishing company basically said, hey, we, we like these demos that you send in for other people, but we think you sing them the best. So let's try an album on you. I was signed to Sony Publishing, I ended up signing to Sony as an artist. So that's kind of where it went. But my love for, for music has been in the creative part. So, you know, just so happened that I come out in the, as an artist and they love it. I wasn't expecting that. I really wasn't. I did West Side for my neighborhood. That was it. I didn't think it was going to go no further than L.A. And it went completely around the world, you know what I'm saying? From L.A. to India and back. So. I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm eternally grateful, um, especially to the fans in the UK because they are definitely top three in my fan base over the years. So I'm here to say thank you. I'm here to um, let everybody know. I'm constantly on my Facebook page, which is facebook.com slash TQ. Um, MySpace, TQ official site. Got a Reverb, Reverb Nation page, which is TQ Music. Go on there because it's a whole lot of exclusives. Like I'm constantly in the studio. You know what I mean? And the stuff that I do, I just want, a lot of times I just want my fans to check it out. I'm at the get it out stage. You know what I'm saying? Whereas I got an idea, I go in my studio, I record it, and I want to let people hear it. You know what I'm saying? In between the albums and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. So you can catch me around the UK for the next couple of months going back and forth. Um, just, you know, watch my pages and I'll let you know where, I'm, where I'll be. Come out, check your boy out. Let's take a picture for once. <laughs> First thing that pops into your head? Right. Gotcha. Girls. Love them. Hip hop. Uh, great music. Love. Complicated. Red. Man, you. Tupac. The best ever. Money. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> Obama. Oh, yes we can. <laughs> yes we did. Sports. Favorite thing outside of music? TQ. What's up, what's up? This is your boy TQ, and you can catch me right here on music-news.com. Log in.